It's another day, another trip to the thrift, hoping to start this new year off right and find some great vintage and antique items out and about. Items that either we can research, my favorite thing to do, resell, or perhaps keep. Because can you ever have enough vintage holiday paper shirts in your life? The answer to that is no. <laughs> Let's get into the store and see what we can find. We are back at the thrift. This is a bit of a fancier thrift. Their prices aren't too bad. Again, it always just depends on the area that you're in and what uh, the stickers say that day. So holiday, always make sure to look at the holiday no matter what time of year it is. Sometimes it is better to buy in the off season. This little cutie, we have a little leprechaun pixie, perfect for St. Patrick's Day. Hold some candies, goodies, rings, whatever you want. Knickknack section, I always look at it, look at the section. A lot of times though, there's just nothing that strikes my eye. Many dollar store, you know, made in China things that just aren't my fancy. This thrift store has the silent auction, so you put down your bid in one of the little binders. Lots of things. The Wizard of Oz plates, Pokemon cards. Obviously, they are not going to be putting those out on the floor, not with how hot they've become over the past um, year or so. You even had some rocks and books. Onto the mugs, of course I recognize this lady. This is Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas, $6.59. Holy moly. If you know someone that likes Nightmare, this would be a great gift for them, but for reselling, Nightmare Before Christmas does sell. If the Jack mug would have been with the Sally mug, that set sells anywhere between $35 to $50 on eBay. The mugs to look for are the ones on the right. These are tall latte mugs and they can sell between 80 to $100. I spy a little Tweety. This is a vinyl plasticky type and uh, resell value, not that great either. I was just checking out the year. I believe this guy was 398. He went back. I liked this section. The bottles were 99 cents, which honestly, I would think at this type of thrift store is a really good price. At the flea markets, you could probably pay a dollar. I thought that they would be nice if you have a vintage styled kitchen, put them in a windowsill, add them to your decor, and for 99 cents at a thrift store, I think that was a, a, good, a good price. So you have a whole bunch of more primitive, antique, vintage styled items. Again, cost is all over the place from cheap to, oh my goodness, why that much? Charles Chips, $5.95. Not a bad price. I've seen them at auctions and at the flea market for a bit more money. Now onto the linens. I'm always checking to see what they have. You never know the hand embroidered $9.99. I mean, the work that was put in it is worth $10 alone, but a little bit out of my price range. These were rather nice as well, $8.99. Hours went into that. But again, sometimes at the flea market, I can find them for a dollar a piece. I liked these Siamese cats. You had actually two of them and they were a bit more expensive, 1998. I'm not sure if that 1018 meant that they've been there since October. If so, then they probably should lower the price a little bit, but lots of work went into making those. Now they have a whole book store, and this was my favorite part of my thrifting day because, da da da, oh, I couldn't grab those fast enough. Teddy Ruxpin, my best friend, in the stuffed animal world growing up. Hi, my name is Teddy Ruxpin. I don't even remember those books. I have some of them. I just, some of the titles that I picked up, I don't recall having. So those will be fun to look through. But yes, Teddy Ruxpin, oh, Little Critter. That was the book of my childhood. Swallowed a desk? I thought the old lady swallowed a fly. 
but another version more 99 cents i mean i i was not, oh a third one i'm not leaving these behind water safety with teddy rockspin the airship that was the one that came with the original teddy in the box get along gang again my childhood they were so cute i even had a birthday cake that was get along gang themed i bought that one for myself as well Prices were all over from 99 cents to 2.99. It just depended on the book itself. When I get bigger, I want to trash pick <laughs> and find antique and vintage things. These are a, lo a lot of older books, which I really, really loved. You have Barbie, Ro I have Ronald McDonald. I did look this up. It was 2.99 there, but online it's only a couple dollars more. So. Worth it if you want the read, but reselling, not so much. Oh, Lady Lovely Locks. If you ever find the book with a cassette tape and it's sealed, pick that up because those are listed, I think, for around 60 some dollars. I remember having Lady Lovely Locks. And I remember this. Everyone in my family had this or still has this. Memories. Hedy Ruxpin. I will not be selling the books that I purchased, but... Teddy Ruxpin is a consistent seller on eBay from the original in the box to the books paired with the cassette tapes to the clothing to all the accessories. Well, that was successful, not in terms of buying things to resell, but in terms of buying something that I love. <laughs> My friend, good old Teddy Ruxpin. Mm -hmm.